Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Bland County Survivor Man. Thanks for watching. Today on Bland County Survivor Man, I'm going to show you guys a very small survival kit. It's a pocket-sized far starting kit that I've come up with, and uh, it's in a snuff can. This little kit right here contains two valuable things. It contains your char cloth, your flint, and your steel. I'm going to show you this little kit right now. Right here on this little board. Now guys, this little, this little kit right here, I have designed a piece of file. That's all that is. That's just a, a eight inch file I took and broke it off in a vise and then ground the edge down on both sides of it. And what I like about files, give you a nice look at that, I rounded that one edge off and that edge, when it's rounded off like that, really catches the, the edge of your flint good. And another thing I like about it is that file won't slip in your fingers when you're, when you're going down with it. And it's simple to use. You don't have to heat it up or anything. It's not like the uh, Mountain Man uh, striker that I've been making. But it works good. And I'm going to show you that right now. Now inside my kit, I've got... See, that's for an emergency. That's your uh, fire starting uh, bundle. Then I've got some char cloth that I've made. That's char cloth. And I went out the other day and I looked me up some more chert. That's what, we, what I skint the possum with, the kind of stuff. And another thing I want to show you in a minute is the steel wool. And that's a very interesting little thing. But anyway, all you do to start a fire with this right here is simply lay that charred cloth right on top of that piece of flint right there. Take your little file and strike down and you can see I've got a fire going right there if I want to. All I have to do now is just stick that in my little tinder bundle and just blow the thing into flame. Okay, now, showed you that little trick. And that's just simple and it all fits in a snuff can. Now little guys, I don't use snuff and I don't recommend you use it either, but these little plastic cans right here will make you one fine survival tool. And it's pocket sized. Now, you can take a plain piece of steel wool and you can take that piece of steel wool and do the same thing you did with that char cloth and this stuff works in wet conditions uh, no matter what. I mean, there we go. I just had to catch a spark on it. Ain't no big deal. But that stuff right there will start you a fire in wet conditions really cool. And another thing I like about it, and I'll show you that in just a second. So I'm going to put that one down because that's about to burn my fingers off. <laughs> And yeah, that's all compact right inside that one little can. It fits right in your pocket. Now guys, I know that everybody and their brother now carries a cell phone. Well, if you've got a cell phone with you in the woods and you got some steel wool, you can take that cell phone and probably get you a fire started with it. You've got some little connectors right across that cell phone, and if you stick those connectors to that steel wool, you're going to set that steel wool on fire. And that gets you a really good fire going, and that's just as simple. So keep you some steel wool inside your little survival kit there too, just in case it's really wet weather and you, that steel wool burns at a very high degrees because it's steel and it's burning steel. So that's how it works. 
So, guys, get out there, get you a file, make you a little survival kit, keep that thing in your pocket, and when you're out like that and you're, you get in an emergency, you can use your cell phone to start your fire with, and you can also use the flint and steel. Hey, that's another tip from your Bland County Survivor Man. Have a nice day.